Hey guys and welcome back to DAB Works Gaming. If you're into Minecraft mods and love exploring new ways to play, then you're in the right place. Here we dive into different mods and help you understand what they bring to the game to show you all new cool features and everything you might want to know about the mod. Got a suggestion? Drop it in the comments below, we'll check it out together and don't forget to like and subscribe, it means more than you know. Now let's jump into the video. Let's go. Okay, and today we are talking about Baffle Beasts. Now, this mod, just remember that it does need Gecko Loop, and this mod is very, very new. It's only got 21 downloads. Let's support this, and let's let's try it out, guys. Let's let's go for all these new mods. You know, support the new people that are making stuff, because, yeah, some of the stuff is so, cre like, so creative and stuff, and it just doesn't get seen. So, yeah. Anyways, enough chit-chat about that. What does this mod do? This mod adds, at the moment, adds three different mobs to this world. We're going to check each one out. And basically, we will tame them. And I'll show you how to tame them and what they look like. And yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun today. Looks really, really cool. What I've seen so far. I haven't, I haven't actually spawned them yet. So, we're going to get into that. Baffle Beast is a mod about adding mobs to interact with the player in some fashion. Alright? They can range from riding or mounting the ammo, or flying, or gliding, and all these things using potions of the wool, of the jelly bats, and create unique jelly donut consumptions, or consumables, sorry. Uh, creatures that mount can fly. So let's go see how that works. All right, so first we have is the Amaro, and the Amaro is like a camel dragon hybrid that can be found in the Tiega bi biomes. And windswept heels. Amro Amros are not hostile and will run away when attacked. How do you tame them? So let's spawn one first and let's have a see what they look like. So let's uh, go ahead and spawn them. Let me get my, char my character back to normal. Alright, and this is what it looks like. Oh, wow. Look at that. Hey. Get up in the air a bit. Whoa, look at that. Okay. Now, let's try tame it. So, they say to tame it. Okay, so how do you make them your friend? Like, you see this guy over here? Is he following me? I think you can command them. Not sure. Okay, so let's let's make one of our friend. I'm gonna show you this, right? So what you're gonna do, click on here. I'm gonna go into survival first. Click on here on your crafting bench. You're gonna take a watermelon slice. I'm just gonna show you how to do it. And then we just make glistening watermelon. Right? Now you take the glistening watermelon and you go to whoever you wanna choose to be your friend. Can you guys chill? There's too many. This is how you make them be your friend. There we go. And then if you want to make them breed, you just do normal watermelon slices. Or melon slices, as they call it in the game. So let's make some babies. Hey, we made a little baby. There it is. Oh my god. He's okay, chill, 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 chill. I still got the watermelon. Do I still have the watermelon? I'm trying to see the baby. Hold on. Chill, everybody. Now everyone's following me. Oh my god. And if you want to heal them, you can use apples or glowberries. Alright, so now it's time to put a little seat on them so we can go for a little ride. So, yes, you can mount them. So. Okay, so let's go over the flying just quickly. So, mount the saddle on them, shift click to climb on them. Now you've got these little feathers over here. Now the feathers, they, what they represent is double click for spacebar to go really high up in the sky. The feathers will rejuvenate over time. You press forward to go forward, of course. You know, all these ones. And then you're going to press... Uh, sorry. This right here is pressing X. X will let you glide like this and then if you press double at the same time you do a lighter glide so if you press okay, i'll do it again double click to go up 
Then you press X. And once you press X, you press double space bar and then you do elytra glide. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna land. We're gonna do crash landing in the water. That's okay. So yeah. That's how you do that. Uh, one more time. And then we have also descend. So how do you go down? You press C. C is to go down. Like that. And uh, how to get off? Very interesting question. Control. Just pressing control will get you off of the Amaro. Alright, I think that's all we need to know. Remember to keep these things by standby so if they are, you know, hurt, you can give them some nice glowberries or some apples just to help them out. They love them very much. And then if you want to make some babies, don't forget, melon slices. Oops, we got on. But yeah, that's it. I think it's a very, very cool mod. Or mob, sorry. Um, it's time to get on the next mob. Let's go and see what's for what's in the store for offer. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways, let's go. Okay, so the next one we have is the jelly bat. There's a large bat that can be found in lush caves and jungle biomes. They have an edible wool that can be shredded with shears. Jelly bats are not hostile and will flee when they are attacked. They are tame with glowberries, bred with glowberries, and can be healed if fed apples and melon slices. Uh, jelly bats are a type of farm animal that the player can use to get a new type of food called jelly donuts. Jelly bats are unique in that you can take the potion and right click the jelly bat to dye the wool and add the potion effect to the donut. You can also breed two jelly bats together to have a second potion effect to inherit from the parents. Jelly bats can also be fed super shake to increase the size of the jelly bat. This allows the jelly bat to have a saddle that allows you to ride it. Oh my god, yes. You can also order it to follow around or sit. Shift right click when they eat the super shake. All right, well, as you can see right now, we are in the cave. And if you look very closely, we have one just over there. So let's go have a look at what they look like. Hey, jelly bat. Here, jelly bat. We mean no harm. Just coming to see your environment. Whoa. There he is. Is that him? Is he actually? Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need to get a closer look at this. Is that him chilling up there? Is him. Oh my god. Look at that. So this is what a jelly bat looks like. Look at his little teeth. <laughs> and let's see if we can find some moving around. Oh, oh he's moving now. There he goes. Now oh, he's chilling. So they love glowberries. For everything. So let's have a look. Let's get some let's get some glowberries and uh, feed them. What are that? Spider. You. Alright, so let's get some glowberries. Boom. I know they like it. Glowberries. Where are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, come here. Come to the light. We're filming, so... I'm gonna film properly. Come here. Hey! We're now friends. So, we're gonna try and make it a big size. See? Oh, that's adorable. Look at this little buddy. So he's my friend now and he'll follow me around, right? Or is it just because I have uh, glowberries in my hand? Wait, hold on. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That's just because I had glowberries in my hand. He was following me. So let's put them in my hand again. Come here. Hi. Yeah. That's what you want? We need we need two of you. We need two of you because we need to. I'll bring you a friend. How about this? How about this? How about friend? Now, glowberry time. Glowberry time. Come on. Glowberry time. You and you. Time to make babies. Let's make babies. Okay. 
Make a baby. Hey, look at it. <laughs> oh my god, he's so small. Hold on, let's get a little close up of that. Out the way, out the way. I want to see a baby. Let me see. Oh, he's tiny. Oh my god. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. I'm getting all loud over here. I'm trying to film. Documentary. Oh, yeah, I spelled it wrong. That's so funny. Anyways, I'm not going to share you. I'm going to share you. Oh, there it is. All right, we got some jelly donuts. Ugh. And this is the super shake, right? Let's see if we can find the super shake here and I can show you how to make it. Sorry. Super shake. Super shake is made by a golden carrot and a glistening lemon. And then an empty tag for... Oh, we need milk. Okay, and then milk there. Okay, so we got the super shake. Did I take it? No, I didn't take it. Let's get a super shake. I'm gonna get a whole bunch. Because I wanna get a huge one, and then I wanna mount it. So let's get a saddle. We have one. Yeah, yeah, we are, friend. So again, we can also command them. Where'd he go? You know what? You're getting a super shake. Oh, goodness. <laughs> he got huge. Can we get more? Okay, Super Shake only works once. Can we shave them? Oh, you can. Now he's naked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me this. How many do you get for that? You get a lot, actually. Okay. Now. I don't want to fly. He's naked. Okay, come. Okay, he's been settled. Come on. Same concept? Yeah, same concept. Oh, goodness. Whoa. Get up. Jeez, he flies fast. All right. That is very, very cool. Very cool. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Dros Dracus are sleeping dragons that are neutral. They will chase and attack if they're hurt by the player. There, they will also charge a homing bubble projectile on its attacker if they are too far. This attack can be avoided by being close or breaking the line of sight. So if you're really close to them or you like, you know, breaking the line of sight, meaning like you're hiding or whatever, or further away, then you'll be fine. They can be found in birch forests or, or and flower forests. Tamed by raw cow beef, so they obviously do eat humans. Uh, they're bred with cooked cow beef and can be healed if fed raw chicken, raw mutton, or raw pork chops. So be careful. These things are quite crazy. Once tamed, once tamed, if you order it to follow or s you can order it to follow and sit, uh, it can also have a saddle and can be flown. They can support up to four players in one mount. That is quite interesting. The Dose Dracus has a unique mount that allows a mount attack that allows fire bubble. Okay, so you can use a projectile while on this thing on the Dose Dracus. Dracus? Drakes, okay. And we'll slowly home and find the player and enemy towards them. This is quite fun if you're playing with your friends, for sure. Very cool. All right, well, let's spawn it and let's see how it looks. Uh, Jelly Bat, please don't, don't do anything, okay? Don't be weird. Stay there. Stay right here. Okay, stay right here. No, 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 stay there. Okay. Let's get this all. So we need to have a lot of raw meat. So let's get raw. I said, ah, oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ooh. Cool. Very, very cool. Get a little zooming that. Oops. What is that? Why'd you come here? No, go away. He eats you. Go away. He, he eats you. Go away. Okay, stay then. Yeah, that's what I thought. Very cool. Let's put more. Okay, so the variance is where they come in is, is yellow. All right. You want to be my friend? Sorry, I've got a bat that follows me. I apologize. I think I've made him... S I think I'm doing this wrong. Hold on. 
I panicked and I got scared. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's raw cow beef. Yeah. Friends? Hey, look at that. He's sitting down. That's cute. Bro, this batch. Hold on, I gotta get him out of here. Alright, and we are back. Hold on a second. The bat's not with us anymore, but... Oh, it's the sleepy. Look at that. He's napping. He's got, he's got a snot bubble. Okay, we got... He's so cute. Oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta ride this one. Okay, so let's put the saddle on. Alright, are you ready? It's time to fly. Let's go. Oh, okay. So now we got sitting, following. Okay. How do we shoot the projectile? Tell us. Okay, hold on, let's fly it first. Let's see how this goes. Let's get some cool camera angle. Oh, oh you don't sit on the seat 100%, but that's okay. Okay. And this is how you shoot the projectile. You press R. So let's go down here. To our friend over here. We already shot him, so he's not very happy. Chill, chill, we're not fighting. Oh god. Okay, they fight, they fight. I wanna shoot, not you. Let me shoot. Okay, I wanna shoot him. Watch this. R. Boom. Oh! No! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? How about you? Are you friends? I got raw beef. We can? Let's go. Let me. Oh, I just spawned a baby. Okay, uh. Raw? Okay, we're on, okay. Now I'm gonna shoot my baby by using. I wanna see how it looks on the front. Let's try and shoot. Oh, it's a <laughs> it's a hit. One more. Oh, he shoots back. Whoa. Oh my god. And it's a tracking one. You just killed your father. You just killed your father. Oh my god. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. All right. And that's going to be it for this mod over here. This is a really, really cool mod. It's just come out. Check it out. Go check it. I'm going to put it in the link in the description. You can find it. Show your respects to this mod if you can give some nice comments. It's really, really cool. I'm very impressed with it. It's not enough downloads on this thing, in my opinion. So let's go show it some love. I'll see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace, guys. It's time to take a nap. With Yeah, that's all. See? Everyone's going to take a nap now. So let's go. Sleep time.